Hey everybody, Mike here. Hope you're all having a great day. Uh, today's video, I want to talk to you about the uh, thumbs up, thumbs down on your videos. Um, normally that shouldn't really be a problem for anybody or really shouldn't be a concern because we know that uh, as far as the analytics is concerned, the thumbs up and the thumbs down read the same. It's just engagement. But because of what I saw, not only see on my channel, but what I saw on my granddaughter's channel, Lily's channel, uh, I know who her subs are. I know who's kids and who's not. And um, the thing is, is she came in one day. She said, I got a thumbs down on my video. She said, who hates me? I was like, well, nobody hates you, honey. You know, it's just maybe they slipped up and, you know, punched the thumbs down when they meant to do the thumbs up and it backed out of the video, you know. So she was kind of okay, cool with that explanation. But I started going back and looking at some of the videos. And there's some that have thumbs down, some don't. But I'm like, why? Well, who would do this, you know? I mean, it's a nine-year-old kid. I don't think another child would uh, possess the desire to show a thumbs down on a video. If they don't like a video, they'll just probably back out. So I figure it's got to be uh, grown up, and it's a sad day that that happens, especially for a nine-year-old. So I didn't want Lily to keep worrying about, why do I keep getting a thumbs down? And I kind of did a little research on YouTube to figure out, what can you do about this thumbs up, thumb down button thing? So, you know, looking at my own videos, I noticed... Uh, after a certain point in videos, uh, you know, I got a few thumbs down here and there, and the stuff usually doesn't bother me. But I noticed after a, a certain video, it really started to increase. So I decided, well, you know what, we got some trolls, or we've got people that are got hurt feelings. You know, I mean, let's face it, there's division in the community, no matter whether it's a reseller or it's a gaming world or it's the homesteading or it's the sewing world or the crafting communities there's always division amongst each other you're never going to make everybody happy you know and i mean that's really basically life isn't it you're not going to make everybody happy and as grown-ups you know we should move on but unfortunately there's some that just feel the need to uh make sure that they're recognized with a thumbs down now like i said analytically speaking youtube looks at that as an engagement that's a positive engagement even if it's a, a thumbs down and quite honestly, I think the thumbs up and the thumbs down button, since it's not being used as it should be, as it was intended, because I'm pretty sure the thumbs down was meant, like, you look at a video, the audio was crappy, the video was crappy, the camera kept going out of focus, not staying in focus, you couldn't see stuff, half the time the person's out of the shot, or the thing they're showing is out of the shot, and it was supposed to be used for con constructive criticism. Now it's become a tool of retaliation. And there is a... Um, a movement to have the thumbs down either removed so if you don't have nothing nice to say about the video post it in the comment you know or use the thumbs up that's the logic behind that and there's another camp that just says if you can't get rid of the negative or the thumbs down then just get rid of the thumbs up and thumbs down altogether just don't have any grading of the video because um, like I said, it's a retaliation tool. Let me know it's a retaliation tool. Come on, guys. Man, we're grown-ups. I mean, you telling me you, we can't figure this out, that there's people you pissed off or you stepped on their toes or you've hurt their feelings? So now they either band together and create these little troll armies because one of the videos that I went to watch to learn how to do what I'm doing, I'm going to show you guys, the guy I watched, his, the video, his video was fine. But he was like, I don't get it. I got like... 50 or 100 thumbs up, or I got 50 thumbs up, and I got like 235 thumbs down. How does that happen? And, you know, I'm kind of thinking that, I'm kind of hoping that YouTube, with all the stuff that they're doing and Google and the control they're wanting over YouTube, you know, that uh, they've got stuff in place that can tell whether somebody's buying thumbs down. Because I know you can buy, you can buy subs, you can buy comments, you can buy this, you can buy that. I mean, they sell them on eBay still. They come out of like, they come out of like back in Europe or the Middle East. Uh, and I mean, it's 
it's a business to them, and they sell it on on eBay. eBay ca catches the U.S. sellers, but doesn't catch the other sellers too much. And I would have hoped that you know YouTube has some kind of an algorithm or something in there to catch these fakes, whether they're you're buying subs or you're buying negative comments or thumbs up, thumbs down things. But with that said, um, I'm pretty sure the stuff that I'm seeing isn't a bot or bought, you know, or bought by someone and said, here, go spread the hate, you know, around. I think it's just a person or a group of people that just, you know, panties got in a wad and, you know, we're big boys and big girls, man, you know. So now that I've gotten that little rant, what I want to do is I'm going to show you um, through two ways because personally, I don't like this over here. I don't like the YouTube studio, the beta. I mean, it's going to take a time to get used to. I'm trying to use it more because you know eventually YouTube's going to force that on us um, and it's going to take it away from the regular dashboard. But I'm going to show you on a video um, that I, uh, I didn't cover. Um, how to do it and how to take care of, uh, and mostly I, I, I found out how to, wanted to find out how to do this, not for this one myself, but it was for Lily because I know James watches her channel. She watches, he watches the comments. He looks at, you know, what's going on and he's very protective and that's good. He's a good parent. You know, him and Angie, they're good parents, very protective of their child and that's good. And I'm kind of looking at the psychological part of it, you know, like, you know, she keeps seeing that. I mean, hopefully she just looks at it and goes, oh, oh well, and then moves on because, you know, she's uh, she's pretty smart that way. But, uh, you know, it's still cyberbullying. And it's still cyberbullying whether it's a kid it's happening to or it's a grown-up. So, you know, I thought I was off the rant, but I kept going. So anyway, anyway, here we are on this video. Oh, and there's the lovely Dia. Chewing the fat with Roland Pick and Katie Trader. Now, I don't know... Who really dislikes Dia? I mean, I, I can't imagine. But there's two thumbs down. Now, I don't know if the people that are doing this think like, oh, the world's going to see they've got a thumbs down. Quite honestly, I don't think the world gives a crap. But the ratio is not too bad. 67 and 2 dislikes. Now, you would uh, what you would do is you would come down here. And you would click um, edit video. So you click the edit video, and it takes you into the new beta. Now you know if this thing's okay. I'm I'm not too big of a fan because over here a lot of the features and things, and they're just moving stuff around, and it's kind of hard. It's really it can get aggravating. But for this video, what you do is you go over here and you click advanced. And what you do is you'll scroll down and you'll see this right here that says allow comments. So what you do is you unclick that and you go to save. Now we'll go we'll go and check the video it takes a while for it to pop up so what we'll do is we'll go over here to the, if you click this Creator Studio and you go through the bit, you can go back to your old one. And I've already got it here pulled up. So here you go. You see what's going on here. And here's the video. So what you would do is you'd hit the drop down. You go to Info and Settings. This is in the old, the, the classic, what we use now. And then you go to Advanced Settings. Users can view ratings, you uncheck it, which we've already done, but we're going to go through the process again. Now, let's go see what the video is showing. Well, we don't want to hear my mouth, so let's hit a refresh. It should show. I just can't seem to quit screaming, can I? So let's do that. So anyway, you look down here now. You see you have the like and the dislike. So basically, whoop, I got to go back. So 
So basically, what uh, what you've done here is now we have the like and the dislike. No more can they see, oh, he's got two or he's got 50 or he's got 100 thumbs down and he's only got five likes or whatever. So you click away. There, you can click the like and that will show the like. You take that down, you can click the dislike and only see, they don't see nothing. Okay, there's nothing. So basically, I wanted to do this to show others that maybe if you're just getting tired of seeing it, I kind of think of it as like taking their thunder away, knocking the wind out of their sails. Because now they know it's not going to matter. I mean, great. I can see it in the back end. You know, not so much in this one, but let's go, let's go do this. Let's go and we just skip. I really wish they would have kept the classic and stopped messing around with something that's already working. See, it says it says nothing here, but if you go to the dashboard, it should show. See, it still shows. It still shows. Even if you go to the video manager. And you look at your videos. See, it still shows there was 67 and 2. So the analytics portion still works. And it still gives you a gauge. Uh, and like I said, it, it's still, um, still going to show you... Uh, it's still going to show you what's going on. It's just that the person's not going to see it that's doing it. And unfortunately, the people that want their thumbs up to be recognized, it's not going to be seen either. But it's a sad day when there's such division in the communities, no matter what the community is. Like I said, it doesn't matter whether it's a reselling or it's the plumbing community or the automotive community or the, or the whatever. It doesn't matter. There's so much division nowadays. It's just sad. And it's sad that people's feelings get hurt. And it's sad that people feel like, hey, I just got to lash out and get back. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. So um, if you're tired of seeing it and you're tired of it like I am and you just want to, especially if you've got a young one that's, uh, you know, worried. Like, why does somebody hate me? Why would they hate me? I'm cute or I'm this or I'm that. You know, I mean, it's more for the young one. Me personally, like I said, I don't care. You know, quite honestly, I'm sick of the crap. I'm sick of the bull that's going on. But, you know, how do you explain that to a 9-year-old or, or, or a 10-year-old who's trying to do, like, show their collection of Funko Pops or sh uh, show the uh, do-it-yourself, you know, or, like, Lily's showing her Shopkins or I watch this other, uh, I watch these, um, these other kids that do these Funko Pops, man. They're pretty good. You know, they're, they're learning from their parents. Of course, their parents... Have a have do the same thing. They have a channel that does the same thing. The Funko Pop, and so you can see where the the, the child is learning from the parent, and there's that nice connection there. That hey, they're picking up the same thing that their that their mom and dad are doing, or their grandparents are doing, like in some gardening videos. You know, some kids do their own things, like they want to show how they plant the seeds and how they water it and how they grow, and and then to come along and somebody gives them a thumbs down for what? I mean, come on, guys. Common sense, man. You know, I mean, if I, I just, I just don't get it. You know, and and I don't really mean to rant, but it just really just pisses me off that we've come to this, to where now the thumbs down is a retaliation tool. I'm going to punish you for what you've done to me or what you said or how you treat me or you treat my friends or this and that, instead of using it as a constructive, you know, if your video sucks, man, you should be told your video sucks. You know, so now if somebody doesn't like my videos or they don't like Lily's or they don't like James or whatever or Angie's or anybody else's, if you do this, you know, have the nads to write it in the comment. Hey, I didn't like your video because this, this and that. Let the whole world see that maybe you're wrong that there was nothing wrong with the video, and then that'll out you. See, but they won't do that because that'll out you then as just being an ass and that you're retaliating. So I kind of pride myself on knocking the wind out of their sails or stealing their thunder. And, you know, it is what it is. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, I'm sure if you don't, I'll see it in the analytics, but nobody else will. 
So punch that dislike button all you want because ain't nobody going to know what you're doing. And, you know, I got to love that. That's kind of making my day. I think I'm going to roll into the weekend feeling pretty good about this. So anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Um, other than my rant, I apologize for, uh, you know, what uh, YouTube calls uh, questionable language. I apologize for that. Normally I try to try to keep it pretty PG, um, pretty clean. And uh, I just ask that God bless you guys in your endeavors and your life and your health and, you know, your YouTube channel. I hope it helps you grow and be successful in everything that you do. And we'll see you guys in the uh, next video. Oh, before I roll out of here, if you like the video, hit the, dis the like or the dislike button either way. Leave a comment down below. I always like getting the comments, and I try to answer all the comments, reply to them. And uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And please share this video if uh, you know somebody else that needs to know how to do this or would like to, like to use this feature. So with that said, we'll see you guys in the next video. Roller Picker out.